Wow. Can a designer fragrance be this good? I mean, really, wow. This is Dolce & Gabbana's The One Mysterious Night Exclusive Edition. Wow, this is really like wow. I'm gonna tell you all about it, so please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If this is your first time landing on my channel and you love watching fragrance reviews, discovering new fragrances like this one, which is a very limited release, finding out about new brands, participating in giveaways, and still haven't subscribed to the channel, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So a couple of years ago, I shot a video for Dolce and Gabbana's The One Royal Night, which I thought was a little improvement upon the original Dolce and Gabbana The One EDP, which is one that I've owned. But get this, I was recently going to do a video about The One EDP and how I was so bored of that fragrance, just like the one I did for Ombre Narghile recently. But while I was on the trip, I discovered the One Mysterious Night Exclusive Edition. I mean, I had heard about it, and I was so, so curious about it, but nowhere to be found because it's exclusively released for the Middle East. But since there are so many Middle Easterners visiting London, this is being sold in uh, Harrods. I smelled it, and I was like, wow, can this really be the one? This is the one of the one that I like, if that makes sense, but wow. It is so good, so, so good. I don't understand why they released the best ones for the Middle East or very, very limited, uh, but we in the United States love perfumes and fragrances. Please release them for us as well. But this was launched in 2018. It is exclusive edition for the Middle East. It is EDP Eau de Parfum Concentration. Uh, the perfumer is Jean-Christophe Hero. Now, he's a perfumer that I really like, and he's been doing a lot of the Mugler Le Exceptions collection fragrances from their exclusive lineup. So I've been following him, and he does some great stuff. And he did such an amazing job here. This is considered an oriental spicy fragrance. And get this, the price is only 85 British pounds for 100 ml. So convert that to dollars, it's about $100 to $105 for 100 ml. This is the 150 ml, which was just a little more. But when I bought this, they had like a weekend of sale at Harrods, 10% off every, pretty much everything, I think. Not everything, but this was included. So I saved on it. That's why I upgraded to the 150 ml. But the price is so good, so, so good. But I was so bored of the one, the original, even the the Royal Knight one was just kind of getting boring for me. I just, it didn't, I liked it. It was an improvement upon the original. And even though people thought there might be oud in it, and it did act like there was oud in it, but there was just no oud credited. Even the Dolce & Gabbana website mentioned that there was no oud. But here we do have oud. So with this one, you've got at the top saffron and grapefruit. In the heart, you've got rose absolute, oud accord, and clary sage. And in the base notes, you've got warm amber, precious woods, cystus labdanum, and tonka bean. Wow. That's all I could say is wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is absolutely fantastic. I'm excited about this one just as much as I was excited two years ago when I reviewed Noir Ombre from Issey Miyake. It's that good. It is so good. But you gotta love Rose. And a lot of you guys I don't think really like Rose. Like I do, I love Rose. And then this is taking the one into a complete new Middle Eastern direction, which it's fantastic. It's like really, really fantastic. Now, if you're fans of fragrances like Black Oud or anything that has that rose and saffron and oud combo, you're gonna absolutely love this because if you love the one, this is just taking that one into that direction. But don't get me wrong, it's not just rose and oud and saffron. You still pick up the one here. It absolutely is there. So basically, the fragrance starts off right off the bat with saffron and grapefruit. It is big. It's a big punch in your face. It is a strong start. Uh, it's a bit pungent too, so you've got to love that intensity at the top. Uh, the grapefruit is very zingy, and the saffron is very leathery. 
and it just starts so good. It's absolutely amazing the way it starts, and I actually like that about it a lot, really a lot. Rose kicks in, and you gotta love Rose because this is a lot about Rose. Um, oud kicks in, and I think it's definitely correct the way they put it. It's oud accord. It's not necessarily an oud, so it's not necessarily. It's not necessarily like a real oud. It's a synthetic oud for sure, but. Sometimes I like the, in the synthetic ouds a lot more than the real ouds because synthetic ouds are a lot easier to wear than the real ouds. The real ouds can get really, really funky and uh, animalic. Here it doesn't get funky or animalic, but it does definitely act like oud. So if you like synthetic oud, definitely check this one out. It's so good. So Clary Sage a little bit comes in too, but in the heart it's mostly about the rose and the oud, which is that perfect pairing. It's a match made in heaven. Oud, rose. They play so well together. But you still pick up that saffron at the top too. The three are awesome. The three are amazing together. But the fragrance, uh, as it's drying down, you start picking up the one even more. More of that one uh, styling comes through. But you don't really have the tobacco here. I don't think there's, it is here, maybe you get like traces of something tobacco-like, but it's not tobacco. It is very, very ambery in the base, woody, and of course, tonka bean. Those three notes are pretty much plain in the base. You still pick up the oud uh, accord, you still pick up the rose accord, and a little bit of that saffron trace comes in as well. But here, it's drying down to a warm amber and woody tonka bean scent. So, so good. It is so good that I, I'm just hoping that you guys get a chance to experience this. If you have any friends or relatives uh, traveling to, uh, I don't know, London. I didn't see it in Paris, but I did see it in London uh, at Harrods. Um, get it, have them get it for you. But just be warned, you gotta love that rose, you gotta love the oud, and you gotta love saffron. But if you love the one, if you like the one royal knight, and you've been wanting, like, something improved upon that fragrance, something in a different direction, because that's exactly what this is. You're going in a complete different direction. You're going in the direction of the Middle Eastern style of fragrances with rose and oud. If you're looking for that, this is it. And again, this is also very designer, even though it has niche stylings, it's really, really designer. I mean, it's not an in-your-face niche offering. You got niche stylings here, but it is definitely from Dolce & Gabbana, and it's so good. I mean, I can't say it's so good too much, but it's really, really good. So I just really hope that you guys get to try it. Um, this is what I was looking for with the One Royal Knight, even though I knew there was no rose in it, but this is what I was looking for. At least they would, should have put some oud in there because I was kept wanting something more, but here we got it in this awesome release. And the bottle is just absolutely gorgeous as well. As you can see, it is a beautiful red bottle. Um, to die for. And I love that Arabic writing in the middle. It makes it, you know, kind of mysterious and very, very exotic. There you go, guys. That's my review for the One Mysterious Night exclusive edition from Dolce & Gabbana. Now, have you tried this fragrance? Are you curious to try it? Do you even like Rose and Oud? Let me know. Put some comments down. Let's get a conversation started. Other than that, please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.